The region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is an equilateral triangle. Find the volume of this solid. Well first, we need to know where we're integrating to. We're integrating from 0 to some place that's a little bit less than 1. To figure it out though, what we can do is we can set our two functions, e to the negative x squared and 1 minus cosine x equal to each other. Using a calculator, we can find that x is equal to 0.942. So we know that we are integrating from 0 to 0.942. Now the next step is to try to figure out what the volume is for this solid. To do so, we have to find the area of each of our cross sections. Now keep in mind that our cross sections here are equilateral triangles. So here's the base of our triangle and here's the triangle coming out uh, of the, uh, the region. Now the height of this triangle is not going to be the same as the base. However, the two other legs right here are going to be the same as the base. So let's think about what this equilateral triangle might be. So let's take a look at the front view of our equilateral triangle. We know what the base is. The base is the top function minus the bottom function. But we want to get the height in terms of the base. That would be a really good thing to do. Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to take a look at one part of our triangle since here we have a right triangle. So if you look at this right triangle right here, the height of this right triangle is h and the base of this right triangle is half of this base which we're going to call b over 2. Now this length of our right triangle, the hypotenuse, because this is an equilateral triangle, is the same as the base. So that's just b. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can solve for b or h in terms of b. So here we have uh, b over 2 squared plus h squared is equal to b squared. Well this means that h squared is equal to b squared minus b over 2 squared. Well this means that here we have h squared is equal to b squared minus b squared over 4 and b squared minus b squared over 4 that is 3 fourths b squared. And now we can take the square root of both sides so h is equal to we're not going to worry about plus or minus because right now we're looking at uh, lengths and a length is never going to be negative. So here we have the square root of 3 over 4 which is root 3 over 2 times the square root of b squared which is just b. So the height is root 3 over 2 times the base. Well what this means is that the area of our triangles is equal to one half base times height and our height is root 3 over 2 times the base. Getting this all together now we have that the area of each of our cross sections is equal to 1 half times root 3 over 2 is root 3 over 4 times the base squared. And of course our base is our upper function minus our lower function. Our upper function of course being e to the negative x squared and our lower function being 1 minus cosine of x. So the area of each cross section in terms of x is root 3 over 4 times e to the negative x squared minus 1 minus cosine of x squared. Now that we have both our limits of integration as well as the area of our cross sections in terms of x, 
we can now write out our integral for the volume, which is the integral from 0 to 0.942 of root 3 over 4 times e to the negative x squared minus 1 minus cosine of x squared dx. And if you were to use a graphing calculator or Wolfram Alpha to do this, you would get approximately 0 0.2. It's actually 0 0.1996, but that, that does go up to 0.2. And so that is the volume of this particular solid.